Welcome to the last game of the season. We're at home. We're against Tottenham. We've got nothing really to fight for. We're going to finish mid-table. That's where we're going to finish. Tottenham, on the other hand, have to win if they're going to get into guaranteed European spot. So, knowing that they've come, they've got something to fight for, but we don't. We're expecting an onslaught from Tottenham. Somehow, as long as we keep a clean sheet today, we will finish as the best defensive side in the league. I don't know how that's happened, but it's happened. I think it's mainly to that man, Tim Krull, that's been the one that's got us there. We've made a couple of changes, again, so we can see what our best side is to go up against Manchester City in the FA Cup final. But it, it's going to be a difficult game for anyone who's playing because they want it. They know they need to win. To get there, they're putting out a strong side. They want to get make sure that the European football is guaranteed. Can they do it? Well, that's something we're going to find out in just a moment. But the answer is no. A game which both T, well, only Tottenham were fighting for something, and you'd expect them to come out fighting. They had no fight whatsoever. Gave up. Absolutely gave up. And I, I don't know why they did, but they did. No highlights because barely anything happened in that match. Nothing good enough. For shots up into the stands and whatever. But other than that, that's the end of the season. And we're going to have a little season review next up right now. So with the season being over, we might as well discuss what is happening elsewhere. I mean, we've still got the FA Cup final to go, so don't forget to subscribe and just come and join us for the FA Cup special because that one's going to be one hell of a match-up. But first of all, we'll talk about those who are getting relegated from the Premier League this season. We say goodbye to Southampton. We say goodbye to Bournemouth. And we say goodbye to Norwich as they go down and have to enjoy life in the championship to try and get back up here. Let's turn things around to the other side of the table now. As the champions of the Barclays Premier League were Chelsea. Yes. Not a new... You winner is Chelsea winning again. Finishing in the Champions League with them though is Arsenal, Manchester United and Manchester City. And Europa League is confirmed to be Everton who could potentially be joined by Tottenham and or Newcastle by next season. And the player of the year I'm surprised, but it's happened. Newcastle have got a player of the year, and that went to Tim Krull. What a performance from him this season. He has been absolutely fantastic for us and deserves the player of the year. Well, with the golden boot, Costa ended up with it with 19 goals in the season. Thank you for joining us for this season. Well, don't forget... Like I said before, there's still the FA Cup final live special coming up in a couple of days' times. So don't forget to subscribe to make sure you can see that one. But for this season, it's over. We've got the FA Cup in a couple of days, and a couple of days after that, season two begins. So I'll see you again at the FA Cup final, and then bang on season two. I'll see you next time.